Okay, so we made it back. He's still limping, which I'm not pleased by that. He wasn't having none of them. See, I feel like they kind of messed up his experience um, at the vet because he didn't act like that. He liked it going to the vet. Now he was wilding out. And, you know, I just think like and then when they get him to the back, they all like wrestling them and stuff like that. And I tell him he need a muzzle. The first time he didn't. Come here. You better not go over there. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Now, when he go to his regular vet visits, where which is not there, that was the uh, emergency. Um, I just hope it doesn't affect him long term. Um, so, I'll be tr trying to think of some things I can do on the way there or while we're there. Probably, like, don't feed him and then give him snacks to comfort him while he's sitting in the room. But I think once the pain go away and he get back to normal and he go for his regular visits, hopefully he don't let this um, affect him. And one thing I mentioned again is yesterday he was just running up and down um, the backyard. And when he was on that medication, he would sit in this area and just stare. Like he'll use it and then whatever he got to do, he'll go right there and sit and just stare. But when he's not on it, he's all over, back. I mean, the back of the garage, everywhere. So that medication, and I think the medication is part of him being, I mean, of him reacting the way he do at the vet because he seemed like confused or dazed on it. So I'm gonna just let him rest today, and you know, uh, hope for the best, and hopefully when he wake up from his nap. You know, his foot's not bothering him. All right, Kane, come on, let's go. We out.